Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link and today I'm going to be showing you how to open up a single port on your D-Link router. Now the first thing we need to do is log into the router and if you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. But once you've accessed the router configuration page, you want to click on the advanced tab on the top and then click virtual server on the left hand side. Here it takes us into the virtual server section where we're going to be able to open up a single port. So the first thing you need to do is enable the rule. So you put a check in the box and then give the rule a name. So in this example, I'm gonna open up the port for remote desktop. So I'm gonna call it RDP. Next under the IP address, here's where you wanna enter in the IP address of the device or computer that you're opening the port for. My computer is 192.168.0.55. For the application name, application name here gives us some predefined ports that we'd like to open. Remote desktop is one of them. However, I'm just going to show you how to do it manually. And in the computer name, it will show you any devices that are currently connected to the router that the router is giving an IP address to. Okay, so you have the option here to either manually enter in the IP address or select the computer from the list. Next comes the port. So here is where we need to enter in the port that we want to open. So in both boxes here, the public port and the private port, you want to enter in your single port. So remote desktop uses port 3389. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in both boxes. Next, we must select a traffic type. Now, if you're not sure if your program or application uses TCP or UDP, you can just choose both. However, because we know RDP uses TCP, I'm going to use that. And then here under schedule, I'm just going to leave it at always. However, if you wanted to open up this port on a particular schedule, you could do that. From there, you just want to click on the save settings button. Now, depending on the router you have, it may ask you to do a reboot of the router to apply the setting. However, in this case, it applies it right away. And then that's it. Now your port should be open. Thank you for watching and for more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.